Steve, how would you describe Draymond's work over the last couple nights? Yeah, he's uh, he's still one of the best defenders in the world, that's for sure. Um, the way he battled out there, but also the way he led, his energy, um, you know, talking to the team during timeouts at halftime, um, he, he was he was fantastic. What did he do well on Zion, particularly? He just made it hard on him. But, you know, seven free throws for Zion. That's a that's a good number for us. I mean, you just worry that he's going to have one of those games where he gets 14, 15 free throws. And Draymond has a unique ability to be physical without fouling, and it's um, it's because he's so smart. He knows the angles. He he understands how to use his strength um, and his long arms to to make people have to shoot over him. And he he he's an incredible shot challenger. He um, that I think. Uh, Ingram had a three late, um, and Draymond just went from the middle of the paint all the way to the three-point line and got a piece of it. It was um, just amazing to watch. Uh, just watch how smart he is and ha- how active he is. Did you all get a little too greedy? I think you went for a fifth straight uh, Draymond challenge. <laughs> it just felt like a good time to, you know, keep ride the hot hand. Had you he know. earned, uh, you know, I guess the uh, the challenge. way the way he played. I mean, uh, you know, there, sometimes you just take one just to back your guy up. Um, I think I said that pregame, but there, are, I think all five of our challenges have been Draymond, right? So we're four for five, so it's a pretty good percentage. It wasn't as I maybe mean, pretty offensively as last night was with all, with all the threes. Did you sense that at some point that this was, might be kind of a a grimier, more defensive focus kind yeah, of? Yeah, you know, with uh, with all of their guys out, I mean, they're missing you know half the roster, um, and and the way last night's game went, this was a a little bit of a letdown game possibility, and um, I thought we let our guard down in the. Early second quarter, I let my guard down a little bit, um, you know, and I, I didn't like uh, a couple of my decisions early second quarter, and uh, that allowed them to get back in the game. And I give them a lot of credit; they were uh, they were playing really good defense, switching everything, uh, making it making it difficult on us. We had all those turnovers in the second half or second quarter, uh, but our guys settled down. Um, second half, only two turnovers the whole half, and uh, that's you know that's the kind of game you just have to f- find a way to win and I thought we we did that with our defense. Steve no no I'm curious what decisions you you didn't like that you that you made. I just didn't like the my substitutions uh the combinations I I kind of left one group out there with uh you know for a few minutes without um a ball handler and and we got a little bit jumbled offensively and I I probably should have kept Kyle Anderson in the game at the time. He was playing well, I pulled him and then um you know they went on a little run. Okay, and tr- Trace is twenty-two for twenty-seven over your first five games. Is what what makes him so efficient and able to to finish? And and has he m- made a big jump from from a year ago? I mean, uh, the experience. Yeah, I mean, he, he's uh, he's obviously a great finisher uh, because of his athleticism, his length, um, and um, he, he, our guys are doing a good job of finding him. Um, as he rolls to the basket. So, you know, most of those shots are coming near the hoop, obviously. That's, um, you know, the, why he's got that, that kind of percentage. But that's what we need, you know. We, we, uh, we're spreading the floor. We're shooting a lot of threes. It's a, a big help to be able to, uh, you know, to get, get points inside, too. Steve, uh, pregame, you talked about what an impact Kyle can have without even making a shot. And then tonight, he's 4 for 4, still doing all the little things. Were these two games just like a perfect example of what it can provide for you guys? Yeah, he's, you know, what he does is um, it's hard to quantify sometimes because he's, he's an excellent defender. Uh, he makes the game make sense with his, uh, his brain. Just to his, he sees the, the, the chessboard really well and um, impacts the game at a high level. I've, I've always hated to play against him. He was always one of those guys who just, you know, seemed like every time he came in against us, um, you know, things went south. And uh, so it's great to have him on our on our side. The the speed and malleability that you have defensively, um, I guess what does that unlock or what possibilities has that been able to unlock uh, scheme-wise on that end? Yeah, we're able to be a little more aggressive. Um, you know, we didn't, uh, we didn't turn them over like we did last night, but... Um, you know we do have more um, ability to to blitz and trap and and be be a little more aggressive um, on the ball. Can Would you, you give us a little bit more specifics on what Draymond, what kind of stuff he says during timeouts on the bench and in halftime, and also 
do you think he's a little bit more in a leadership mode because Steph's out and there were a lot of young guys around him? Yeah, I think I think that's part of it. Um, you know, when whatever's going on in the game, that's what he's talking about. So at halftime, he was talking about their guard to guard. Uh, Screen and roll. We messed up a couple of switches on on that play, and um, so when I came in the lo- the locker room after the coaches' meeting, he was he was discussing that action, and that's what he does. He he he's so smart. Um, he knows the game so well, and um, obviously he's been here a long time, and and um, so the guys look up to him, and they they re- respect his basketball knowledge and acumen, and and he's not afraid to share it. So it's a good thing. What did you think of Kaminga's game, maybe specifically the defense? looked like he was rotating great, and he, he yeah. did have times when he was on Ingram, he t- and when he, maybe even a couple times on, on Zion. What, what, what did you think of him tonight? I liked, I liked J.K.'s game tonight. Um, you know, he's, he's handled uh, uh, you know, that, this, this role change, quick role change, with, just with Steph and Wiggs out, um, you know, bringing him off the bench. He's, he's handled it really well. He's played back-to-back great games, and... Um, you know he's such an important guy for us with his his size and athleticism and his ability to score. Um, and we needed that tonight. The way they were switching and we, we were having a hard time getting into our offense. And you know he attacked the rim, got to the foul line a little bit, and um, did a great job. Thanks.